So, so I guess it's been a little bit of an odd couple of training weeks with the uh, cancellations to the game with London Welsh and the British and Irish Cup. Haven't been with the fixture since the start of December now. How has that impacted what you've been doing in training? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of d uh, tough to deal with as a player when you've, uh, you train a week with no end product to go into at the end. So uh, there's probably a bit of... Sort of pent up frustration, I suppose, that the boys are really um, keen to get out of the system on Boxing Day. Um, how's it impacted things? Not huge amounts. We're, we're still preparing. You know, we've obviously had that extended period to prepare towards Rotherham now. Uh, so we've we've had a real good eye on what they've been up to and and, and how we can approach the game. Um, it's allowed us to bring some things into training uh, to just try a few new things, um, experiment a little bit, and just really hammer home what we're going to try and achieve over the uh, the Christmas period now in was two crucial games really. And prior to the uh, the break for the BNI Cup, um, you had some pretty impressive uh, appearances from the bench coming in the second half against both Yorkshire and Jersey. Are you hoping to build on those as we head into the festive period in 2017? Yes, yeah, it's always great to get on the pitch, you know. But I suppose the most important thing for us at the moment is to try and pick up a couple of wins over Christmas. It's uh, we look at that table now, and, and and two wins over the Christmas period for us would be absolutely massive. So uh, whatever I can contribute to that, I'll I'll, I'll try and contribute. Uh, training as hard as we can on the training pitch, and um, you know probably last two times out we, we, we've lost narrowly in games that we've come back into maybe just left ourselves a little bit too much to do in both of them and uh, you know possibly could have got something more out of it at the end but we, we've got a few points so big points to prove for us now coming on to these next two weeks in, in two massive games really yeah and starting with Rotherham on Boxing Day they of course beat them here in the league lost there in the cup and uh, we've got a bit of a tricky record away at Clifton Lane but you've had plenty of time to prepare for this game now what sort of things are you hoping to take to Clifton Lane on Boxing Day uh, yeah, without giving too much away, um, you, you know, it's, it's been spoken about, you know, how long it's been since we've been there. You know, we've got to face up to that fact at the end of the day that a Doncaster night side hasn't won there for a long time. And I, I don't think there's anyone in this change room who, who has actually gone there and won in a Doncaster jersey. So that's a huge challenge for us straight up. We know that straight away. And Rotherham have been in, you know, a, a much improved vein of form, I think. that You know, from the start of the season when we played them here to, to what they're producing now, I think they're a, a much better side. And we've, we've spoken about that in there today. Uh, so, you know, we, we've got to go there. We know it's a smaller pitch. We know those those dimensions are going to make an, uh, an impact on the game and the way we want to play it. Uh, so we've adapted our game accordingly. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's Boxing Day. It's... it's Rather than Doncaster, it's as big as it gets really in terms of uh, championship fixtures for us. Um, so we know that first and foremost we've got to turn up and, you know, 100% we've got to be f fully clued in and, and, and match their intensity and then take it to another level again. Once we do that, then we can start to uh, impose what we want to do on the game. Uh, and, and hopefully we've done our, uh, our homework right and, and that will bring us a W on Boxing Day.